This is the story of the AGF Paradise as they sanguinely explore the stars in search of the destiny thrust upon them by those who sought to obtain calamity itself. This is Children. 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 Children of the Sign. Welcome back to the Sailor, everybody. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Oh, oh, no. Gorge. I hate it. I quit. I quit the podcast again. Second time I've said that today. <laughs> oh, welcome back to the sector, everybody. I am your GM, Jonathan, and I have with me, Kylie. Astrid Fulstead, who is suddenly thinking maybe we shouldn't go to the AI. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> and Luis Mohan. You know what? I love that idea. <laughs> Let's not go to the AI. No. Why you? <laughs> and Laura. <laughs> Fucking hell, Jonathan. <laughs> Time to find our AI and Kamala will cry. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> the only one who still wants to go to the AI is the one who hates the AI. <laughs> She's a trooper. <laughs> a space pirate through and through. Yes. Anyway, so last time on Children Who Are Now Adults of the Spine, a meeting of the spiral captains of the Alarazak Galactic Flotilla was held to determine the ordinances to issue with the looming threat of the Terran. Once the ever-wise captains determined the path forward and beamed the decisions to the branches, the crew of the Paradise discovered that the spiral captains put a lot of these tasks on their shoulders. The crew confirmed what they believed to be insane requests of them from Radko and begin their own deliberation as to what to tackle first. Unfortunately for Kamala, that decision was to find the cluster of isolated, unbraked AI in deep space and attempt to recruit them to the cause. This seems like a bad idea in retrospect. <laughs> I just love that I had a name picked out for that episode. No, oh. It was the, I had a, the name for episode 31 was a collection of nitwit ideas that worked. And now I'm almost wishing that that was the name for 32 mm. with all of your spiral captain decisions. Oh, you could just switch them. It's too late. They've been released. Oh, shit. Everyone no will notice. Forget what you saw. Yeah. You've seen nothing. <laughs> no, but like, no one's going to remember which name went with which episode. We have we so many raving fans, Kylie. <laughs> they will know. Our Discord will be lit on fire. Yeah. All 15 of them. <laughs> I think revolt. you all think far too highly of ourselves, but okay. <laughs> we got a new member last week. Anyway. <laughs> Hi, new member. Hi. Hi. Hello. With their new fleet comprised of at least one stellar crew from each of the branches, they have the biggest pizza party yet, and then set course for the stellar void of the sector. Once there, it was exactly as expected. A void. Major stellar systems are almost indistinguishable from the far-off lights of other galaxies, but the occasional clink on the hull caught their interest. Astrid hopped in her mech and turned on the sentient sensors to see that a bunch of errant blips were all around the void. Noticing that their all-black paradise is nearly invisible in deep space, she quickly makes her way back to the mech bay. As she gets in, she feels a crunch under her mech's hand and sees a small destroyed robot. Bringing it inside, the crew contains and inspects it, a mash of pieces and not just from being crushed. Wires segmented more times than a skilled electrician could ever accomplish, different metals and ages of components, and lastly, Mohan spots an insignia just as haphazard as the robot's body, but clearly made out of some pieces of the Dead Cut brand. And that's where we are now, as the crew has found their first hint of the Deep Space Unbraked AI. So, anyone think you can make it work again? Or, like, turn it back on? I have a one in fix. Maybe Hyacinth would be a good choice for this. Hmm, yeah. I mean, I guess I could give it a shot. Well, I was just thinking, if we can get it working again, it's probably going to want to try and go back back to its its group, right? So maybe we could just follow it. If it's friendly. Well, 
it doesn't have, maybe we could just like turn it back on, shove it out the door and just follow it back. So it doesn't even know that we had it. Well, let's put it in a cage, turn it back on. And then if it tries to kill whoever's in the cage, sorry, Hyacinth, <laughs> uh, then we know we should just kill it again. It won't get that far. And then I pull out my sheer rifle at it. No! I'm just, Shoot, Hyacinth. Just, just aiming. <laughs> she's already dead. No, Can't she's get that far. not. <laughs> I'm just aiming my rifle at it. Guys, calm down, calm down. It's going to be much easier than that. It's either going to turn on or it isn't. I mean, it got crushed by a mech. True. I mean, yeah. it bounced off my hand. Who knows if, if it was even uh, functional before that? True. True, um, yeah. We might have just, like, bumped into it. Well, there's a bunch of, I mean, based on what I saw out there, this one might work, or all of the other little plinks off the hull might also work, because I think those are all just little robot bodies just clinking and plinking off the, the ship. Yeah. Well, let's try and fix it. All right, I will guess I'll give this a shot. Drop the lowest. That is a that is a nine plus three is a twelve. That is a complete success. Yeah, Hyacinth, yeah. So you see Hyacinth start going to town, uh, tinkering <laughs> with this thing and uh, ripping it apart. And you see that the the AI itself, the little robot, isn't moving in any way, um, and is just totally allowing this to happen. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's even powered on, and Hyacinth eventually comes back out and says, Well, uh, I fixed up all the pots that you destroyed, but even then, it wasn't all that in disrepair. It's just not turning on. Hmm. It seems like maybe it's, it has a power source, but maybe it's lacking power. I, I don't know. I take the little robot in my hands and I close my eyes and I say, I wish, I wish with all my might that this little robot will take flight. <laughs> Did anything happen? The fuck was that? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of battery is I don't know. I was hoping mean? maybe, you know, like the power of positive The power thinking. of friendship? <laughs> you think sure. the power of friendship is going to bring this little buddy to life? You did it once, but that's not going to say it's going to happen again. It worked once. Nothing's what? stopping you from working again. What about the power of a power cell? Oh, well, maybe that too. I, I had a few power cells in my pack and it wasn't reacting to them. Oh. It, the, 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 place, about... the place that I would have uh, inserted the power cell looked nothing like what uh, I've seen for a normal power receptacle. Maybe these AIs have their own type of like power. Yeah, this thing's been chopped to bits. Like It's got so many different parts from so many different places. It's... I, I don't know. It's really a miracle that it's uh, put together so well. Hmm. Yeah. Are, I have a question for you, DM. Are all of the little robot bodies that are like floating by the ship coming from a singular direction? Or is it just kind of like debris everywhere? Roll a notice. <laughs> <laughs> that's a six. So that's a failure. I did a bad. Uh, you can't tell. Like, you think you notice that there's a pattern, and then it seems to switch up. So either it's coming from every direction, and it's kind of patternless, or you were just getting too distracted when looking. Yeah. Uh, guys, wouldn't it be really handy if, like, all these body parts floating along could, like, lead us back to the whole group? Well, I mean, we could still try and turn this thing on. So... Well, we don't... I don't think we have a way to power it. We only tried one battery. And then gave up. Okay, let's try. I every did try the power cell A and yeah. B. Hmm. Do we not have a bunch of stuff in the uh, storage? Where's Rasmus? Well, there's only so many types what do you of need, power boss? cells. Is there? Yeah. How many types of power cells do we have? We got type B for the for all of the vehicles, and we got type we got type A for all of the weapons. See. That's it. Yep. All right. Well. It looks like this plan is a failure. We should just go back since they're not here. Yeah, let's just go back <laughs> uh, to the... No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we would get in trouble because we were told to do something and I don't think this would qualify as having done it. I don't really want to plug it into the ship to yeah, try no, and power it. Yeah, Yeah, because I feel like it'll take over the ship. Okay, turn on the f headlights and let's see where these body parts are coming from. Maybe we can give it a jump start. <laughs> Notice... What is that? Oh, my God. There's a crack in his face. <laughs> Twelve. Complete oh. success. Uh, so you look out and you see that there are lots of debris, but a lot of the debris turns out to not look like little robot bodies as they kind of like plink off. There's there's just a lot of debris out here for some reason. And occasionally you do end up spotting another similar looking robot kind of floating by. 
And as you watch it long enough, let's say that one gets close enough to the ship since you got a complete success, that it does, like, blip on for a moment and then blips back off. Hmm. So maybe we just need to get closer to the source for it to turn on. We could try that. If that doesn't work, maybe we need to find more robots and put them together. Yeah. Can we use the fuel scooper as a net to grab robots? No, the fuel scoop doesn't work that way. It's just kind of like big solar panels. Damn it. Mm, I have rope. <laughs> yeah. Can we throw a rope out the window? We also have <laughs> mechs, guys. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have mechs. We also can explore, like, more of the deep space cluster, too. I mean, like, we, we hardly even know where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just plot a course straight forward to wherever we see any blips. So, like, that one blip that we saw, the, the one AI that turned on? Yeah. Let's just kind of follow, see if we can follow a trail and maybe... see it. Yeah, see if we can, like, see more of those robots that kind of, like, look like they maybe function for a second and just... Right. And then whichever one we see, like, fun functioning the longest, we could try and get it on board, maybe fuse the two together. That sound good? Sure. Mm -hmm. So just the shot. straight into the depths? Slowly. Yep. <laughs> okay. I don't like the way you worded that. But, yeah. <laughs> no, me either. I guess we're just taxiing along in this in this hex. Who's going to be doing Gee -gee. the looking out for these things? I'd say all I feel of like us, should right? all of us. All 200 people on <laughs> Oh, yes. Every <laughs> single person on board this ship. Um, I have good notice, so I'll definitely I have, be. I just have a zero, so I probably not me. I'll be looking out on my little scanners and my communication mm. sector. Yeah, now that Astrid has told you that like her thing can pick up like little sentience and stuff like that, and you, you know that they kind of blip on every once in a while, you've got enough information to make your own little program to try and look out for them. Yeah. Nice. Can you hold that thought? Yep. Astrid, you can, you can like. I would assume I'm just kind of like sitting in my mech while. Like, and just feeding that just information feeding down it, to yeah. Kamala so that she can pinpoint everything. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to say that because it's like a team effort type thing, you can get a plus one, an extra plus one to your rolls. Um, we're going to put this on like a momentum track. Okay. So. You're going to have to get up to a plus three. So you'll have to get three successes before you get three failures. And if you get three failures, you guys will be uh, kind of lost in space. Ugh. You got it. Don't fail us now. And I'm using my program skill? Yeah. Okay. Because I was like, I'm not doing piloting. <laughs> okay. And I got a plus one. So, oh, okay. Well. That's great. Five, nine. You can reroll one. That's a ten. Oh, never mind. Cool. So you got one complete success. So you guys find another one of these little robots that blips on and you just kind of taxi Ooh. over to it. All right. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that is a 15. Uh, yep. That's uh, another one. Actually, yeah. 16 with a plus one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you continue following this chain of little blipping robots like what you're seeing on Astrid's mech that's being beamed down to you is this big field of things that are blipping on and off but you're starting to recognize the patterns in the way that they're blipping and there is like a path that is showing up in these blips Ooh, I bet they're like this is how they guide the AI to them this is how they guide ships to their death um, 16 and that's a third success. No oh failures. God. Yeah. Uh, I'm the best fucking hacker in this pirate oh, fleet. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the point, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. The first one that you found is still on board in that cage. And then you used it to help you ping to other ones and eventually discovered that in this hex, there's this pattern that's pointing towards where they are. You get into this other area of space and there is a much larger robot still like person size like these robots that you've been running into have been very small they're very similar to like the helper robots that the uh, kalima use in the sector currently and there's this one that is much larger it's humanoid sized and it looks like it is powered on but it's not moving it's just still floating out in space mm -hmm. and you can see that there's like some of these other little robots kind of like not orbiting around it, but it is like the largest chunk of mass in this area. So as you guys bring your ship into this area, the little orbiting pieces of debris and robots start moving away from it and towards your ship just because that's how gravity works. But there was like this little cluster of stuff gathered around it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're now we're at a big, well, you said person size. Person sized. Yeah. Kamal, you want to text it? 
Send a text to it. Text it. <clears throat> sure, I can send out some type of pulse, but it doesn't look like it's moving. So. Oh, it's not on. It's on, but it's there. not moving. Hmm. It has some. It has some sort of like lights on, but that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just try. We'll see what we can do to communicate. I don't want to bring it on board just yet. Let's let's try and communicate with it first. <laughs> I, I almost wonder if we were to like try and pass it, if something would happen. Yeah. Or if get too close. Right. Yeah. So I just want to talk to it before we approach it. I send you up. <laughs> <laughs> you up. Hey, you up. <laughs> Give me a notice. Oh no. Who? I just. Come on. Um, that's a, <laughs> that's a hard four right there. I don't see shit. Mm-mm. Nothing happens. Hmm. Okay. It's not up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's asleep. <laughs> uh, is anything happening with the little AI on 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 board? Mm. Is it uh, turning on? Is it doing anything? You do notice that it's blinking more, or like the little pulses of life that it has are a little bit more frequent, but still it's not as like frequent as some of the other ones that you've used as like guiding poles to get to where you are now. Right, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to shake the little robot. Hey, robot! You see like little pieces of debris falling off? And oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't move. It doesn't, it's just totally limp. Sorry, robot. <laughs> Put it down gently. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't work, guys. What do you guys think? Should we try and get it? I think Astrid should go get it again. Hey, Astrid, you want to go get it? <laughs> I guess. I was going to suggest that maybe we get our mechs and go and approach it. But if you wanted to be me, that's fine, too. I'll do that. Maybe two of us would be better, right? I'm the captain, so I'm going to stay on the ship. Ah. <laughs> you can go. Kamala. <laughs> I have to captain the ship. There's 200 people. Self-preservation at its finest here, I see. I mean, I could go with Astrid. Who are you again? The janitor. <laughs> Rasmus. Rasmus. Who is the janitor talking to me right now? <laughs> He's our weapon specialist. <laughs> All right. Yes, that actually All would right, make yeah, a lot yeah, more sense. I'm just not that. even talking to him anymore. <laughs> he can give that, me yeah. orders and stuff, but uh, no, he Rasmus, just doesn't you can, exist. You yeah. can come with me. I, th- I think that's a good idea. Thank you, Astrid, so, for let's... using my name and not janitor. <laughs> You're a welcome. title that I do not hold. <laughs> Do you want a promotion? As chief, as chief weapons expert of the ship, <laughs> I I really, really want that janitor title gone. I would argue that, like, the person closest to a janitor that, like, is a named character on this ship would be Hullab yeah. because he has to clean the up The quartermaster? Like, yeah, it seems like a yeah. lot more likely the quartermaster yeah. might have janitorial staff under anyway, it. Anyway, anyway, Rasmus, let's, let's go hop in our mechs and go see what's up with this weird... Weird robot out there. You just get the stinkiest stink eye from Rasmus <laughs> as he goes over to the mech base with Astrid. I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna write. I'm writing on this piece of paper. Uh, just wait till you come back, Rasmus. <laughs> His eyes go a little bit wide and then just look straight ahead. <laughs> Rasmus, thank you for going instead of me. Mm-hmm. No problem, Kabala. We need you here. You got the smarts. I got the. I don't know what I got. I. I got the bustle. You're the brawn. Her brain. Yeah. yeah. All right. We suit up and exit the ship. Does no, I only have on the cost of flying places. That's only for using like spike drills because your your mechs can technically spike as well. <laughs> oh. Spike yeah. drill to the robot. That's like yeah. 10 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna yeah. hop into metadimensional space for a moment. <laughs> Go two feet. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I want to make a note that they are tethered to the ship. So like the bay Sorry, that they come idea. out of is like. You know, they have a good grappling hook. That's a good note to make, especially because I said that you guys were having trouble even locating the paradise, just yes. being out uh-huh, a little uh-huh, bit because uh-huh. yeah. it's so dark. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, we are basically have like the proverbial rope tied around our waist kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. 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 And uh, Kay, good turn good. on the floodlights. Oh, okay. Will do. Ta-da! Space and, is lit up. And you and Rasmus float out to the area where this larger robot i mean it's it's smaller than like the fist of your mech at this point but you float out to it and it is just uh sitting there now that you're closer to it you can see that it's kind of in this not like a meditation pose and not not like fetal either but it's it's in this very like staunch pose that it has where it's just kind of cross-legged and cross-armed are we going to have to solve a riddle i hope not Mm. i'm just gonna like very gently put my hand my mech hand out and just kind of underneath it and then just like lift my hand up until it's like on its butt the palm of my hand and that just happens it doesn't move it doesn't react or anything and i go 
All right, Rasmus. Well, I got my gun trained on I it guess, in case anything I happens. We, I guess we have a, a new a new passenger. So, like, I guess we can go back now. Do a scan on it. Okay, I'm gonna do the scan with my um the thingy. So with your <laughs> my brain polyspectral broke. sensors. Yes, that. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, this one is uh, when it, when you turn those on, you still see all the blips in and out of consciousness of, of the other. Uh, robots that are floating around, but this one is turned on. Ooh. Stop it. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one has permanent sentience. <laughs> it's not flickering. Is there like an external speaker to my mech that I could like? Yeah. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that on and say, hello, free AI or free sentient robotic intelligence. Um, we come in peace. <laughs> and you, you get no response. Damn it. If you don't respond, I'm going to bring you back to the ship. And I don't know if you want that, but I have a lot of questions. So, like, either let's have a conversation out here or we can go back to the ship. And I just kind of, like, wiggle it a little bit just to see if it needs, like, to be shaken to wake up. Shake weight? Shake it, shake it, syndrome. (laughs) You, like, shake it a little bit and you notice that the same area that Hyacinth had pointed out where there's, like, some sort of, like, energy component and battery type Mm -hmm. thing on the little one this one has a very similar look like position for where this battery goes but it is shaped similarly to what those little robots are oh the baby robot goes in the big robot okay we're gonna i'm gonna take it back we're gonna take it back to the ship so we can put the baby robot in it and see what happens and you guys tether yourselves back to the paradise yeah Look, guys, look, there's there's a there's a there's a baby robot sized hole in the big robot. I think the baby robot powers the big robot. Let's I think try it's it. like nesting dolls. <laughs> That'd be fun. And what if we just like keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger and go fight the flesh mask with like a Gundam? Yeah. <laughs> like Voltron? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's just <laughs> keep putting them in. Gurren Logan <laughs> drill inside drill inside drill yeah. inside drill. Okay. I want to do it. Get in the cage. Oh. I pick up. <laughs> The little robot. Dunk, dunk. Yeah, jam it in. Roll a fix. Oh, no. I have a one in fix. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Make success. Um, you're noticing <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> as you're shoving it in, yeah. you notice that it's like approximately the right size, but it's the totally wrong shape. Dang it. It goes the Square goes in the circle hole. No, no. <laughs> Hyacinth, can you make it the right shape? I mean, I could probably w- reshape it into something that would fit, but I don't think it intentionally belongs here. Well, we can search the whole sector looking for the right sh- right part. <clears throat> hmm. We might have to. I, yeah. I, I don't know. All right. I guess, Rasmus, we're back in our mechs and we're looking for a... That size and shape robot just floating through space. Right, well, we can keep following the lights, right? Yeah. yeah, we should probably keep following the blinking lights. But let's keep the big robot with us, just just in case. So you get back into your mech to start up this cycle that you and Kamala have of using the polyspectral array and then her knowledge of finding out where they are and tracing them. And the patterns no longer work. Ah, crap. All of the patterns are different from what you had previously seen. Oh, shit. What? They're on to us. Is what? No, I us. think we messed it up when we took the big robot out. What if he was like a marker? Well, he's a robot, not a marker. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Should we put him back? Probably. Well, how about let's put him there, and then if it changes back to what it was before, then we know, like, that's supposed to be there. And if it still stays as that other weird pattern, we should just follow the new pattern, because maybe the AI is trying to tell us to go somewhere else for the next robot. Thank God that... Kay's flight history is recorded on the ship, so we know exactly where we picked up the robot and go back to it. I imagine we didn't move anywhere. (laughs) So, in (laughs) deep space uncharted territory, I mean, I can kind of gauge where some things are in this, like, hex of the sector, but it's not, there's not, like, a course here. Like, it'll be easier to get back here, but it's still, like, you know how when they say you walk through the woods and you try and go a straight line, you're gonna do a whole bunch of little circles before you, like, as you move in a straight line? It's gonna be like that. So we just took the marker for the hiking trail and then walked another mile. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. (laughs) That's what we just did. 
maybe I'll see if I can put it back in the general area it was, and maybe that's good enough. So we either go back or keep on going forward. <laughs> Wait, did we keep moving? Well, we did move. Like after we got the big robot? Yeah. I thought we moved before we got the big robot. So you guys are just flying around in that hex. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're still in the same location. We're just zooming around. Yeah. <laughs> Until you actively choose to do a spike drill to another hex, mm. then you are in the same hex and you have kind of an idea of where you are. So like I could probably be like, oh, it was near, you know, like this giant piece of floating rubble and this like little one so that we could probably just kind of plunk it back in a general area. <laughs> one thing I did mention is that this was like the largest thing in a long ways and that things were orbiting around it. Like you guys mm. disturbed the gravitational field when you entered this area. That's how little stuff is in this. Hmm. Hmm. Let's spike to the next place. <laughs> okay. If Fuck that, it. Let's just take it with us. <laughs> yeah, because if that was the only thing, maybe if you collect them all, they'll turn Ooh, on. Yeah, like Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, what? Like Pokemon. You gotta Spokemon. catch them all. Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Spidgemon. Spidgemon. <laughs> Tap emsters? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> What if the part we need for this robot is in another sector, so it's almost like we have to build a key? Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm. This could be like their defensive measures. Maybe. So taking down their defenses. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, only yeah. they can know the pattern. Let's do it. I like that idea. All right, let's give it a shot. Wait, how much fuel do we have? Can we spike around the whole thing? All right, so right now we have 60 points of fuel. One day we collect 10, but we can't collect 10 because and, we're in deep space. Yep, you have to go by a star to be able to collect fuel. And are there stars outside here on the unmarked hexes around this area? No. All the stars are marked by the red dots. Mm. Okay. Got it. Is this cost the daily cost? It costs nine every day? No, it costs nine every time you spike drill. Every time we spike. Okay. And we're Shit. there. One, two, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's Seven, spike eight, it nine, up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven to get back. We only have sixty. Well, eleven times nine, so we can. Mm. Yeah, we can't get back. We can't get back now, even if we wanted to. No, you could get back. No, now. we could get back now if we wanted to. So, Laura, what you're counting out, mm -hmm. you're counting hexes, but a singular spike drill doesn't matter how many hexes you're traveling. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's where I was mistaken. Yes. Because I was like, we're fucked. <laughs> we can't go back. <laughs> Do we have to spike then to the next AI? To get out of this hex, you yeah. would have to spike drill. You can't, you can't travel because the hexes on the map are not representative of this is next to this. It's this is metadimensionally next to this. Got so, it. It could be an eternity between those two hexes, but only a day of spike drill time. Yeah. Okay. Should we spike to the middle or spike around the ring? What if we did a coin flip? Odds and evens. Okay. Evens, middle, odds, ring. Whoops. That's a three. It's a ring. ring. Let's go right. In this cluster, I, pre I did the math out. K can't fail any pilots as long as you stay within that cluster. Cool. Yeah. So Good. I don't need to roll for K piloting. However, there are no spike drills here. So K is going to attempt to go to the one you want to go, but he's going to roll a D8 to find out if he does. Oh, no. Oh, oh so we might like end up out here. <laughs> You'll find out. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So huh. if he, he's going to roll a D8 and on an Eight, it will be where you want to go. One through seven will be one of those other locations. Oh, no. We're going to die. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Isn't this his one job? Yeah. Come on, Kay. It's your one job. <laughs> but, like, piloting is on set routes. Like, there's routes of metadimensional space set up. I'm charting routes. I've never done that. So you can only drive on the highway but not off-road? Some pilot you are. <laughs> Off-roading's hard, Okay. <laughs> Off-roading's hard when it's millions of miles of All space right. between it. Okay, chill, guys. I think we need to cut him a little bit of slack. And I think, Mohan, there's a reason we have a separate pilot. pilot. <laughs> All right, you little Yorkie, I'm going to punt you. Do you guys want to do the rolling for where you end up? No. no. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid. I leave it up to Kay. <laughs> at least this way I can blame you if it's bad. Rasmus, point your gun at Kay. Do you it. You better not fail. So I'm going to roll, and that is a one... <laughs> So we you guys, <laughs> what direction were you trying to go? To One to the right. You were trying to go one to the right? You actually go one to the left. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. But where were we? We don't know. You don't know. I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. My no is a two, which means I rolled a 10. 
<laughs> okay, well. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, for the listener, we have a hex of a hex. So it has a six, hex of a hex. <laughs> it, it's a hex made out of six hexes with one hex in the middle. And they were at the southernmost point of that. They have moved one hex to the left. So still along like what they were calling the ring versus the center. So they moved clockwise along this ring of hexes one space. If you want that to make more sense, join the Discord where you can see the map. Yeah, join the Discord. You guys enter this new hex and Kay, as you guys are traveling through metadimensional space, is like struggling and you see him like putting a lot of effort into some different screens that he's working on and he's like shouting over to you a few times Kamala to like assist with navigation and uh, you guys eventually pop out I don't think I got us where we wanted to go but we're still in the same area so, like same kind of area of deep space like we're not off course it's just maybe not where we intended to be you know what it's probably fine yeah are there still AI here uh let's do a scan beep 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 Kamala? beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. That's an 11. That is a complete success. And yeah, in this yeah. area, you turn on the scanner and it's completely different from what you were seeing in the other areas. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Instead of there being like these blips of sentience, the screen almost like whites out with sentience. They're everywhere. But you're like looking outside and you don't actually see any of the little robots floating around? They're nanobots. <gasps> Maybe. Are they in the air? Your hair looks so good right now. Okay, sorry. That's what I was saying. That's <laughs> why I was, I was pointing to your head and doing a thumbs up. Your hair looks nice. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I took it out of a little clippy. <laughs> okay. Um, Kay, can you turn on the speakers, please? Oh, Absolutely, no. Captain. This seems like a bad idea. Testing. Hello, AI. Come on, tell me if you've seen anything on the screen. Do I see any movement or, like, any reaction in the energy levels? <laughs> They're off the charts. No, you don't see anything different happen. Try something else, Captain. We would like you to join us, but I need to talk to somebody. Is there anyone that I can speak with? Hello. AI is life. <laughs> I don't see any movement. I don't want to insult them. Turn off. <laughs> So you you go to turn you go to turn it off and right before you turn off the sensors you end up hearing this way there's oh. pixies in the space let's I'm follow afraid. this way are you <laughs> friendly this way this seems that bad. sounds good to me guys <laughs> let's follow them. <laughs> And I floor it. As all of us are <laughs> oh, you're like, piloting now? <laughs> a minor, minor, even small smidgen sense of self preservation all look at each other in horror, going, Oh God, that's bad. <laughs> and uh, Kamala, after this happens, you see on your screen that it's almost like a negative space shows up where there's like lack of sentience that like starts parting right in front of where your ship is. This way. They're guiding us because they're friendly. Let's just go. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's go. Hey, okay, we're going to do the same thing. Give your program stuff to try and figure out a pattern in what they're doing. Um, that's a 12. That's another full success. Yeah. So, uh, you start <laughs> noticing that as it, as it goes this way, it's starting to get like a little bit more faint as, as you're following what looks like the patterns that you're recognizing. Um, and give me another roll to see if you can continue. <laughs> 15. 15, another full success. So you start to map out where this is. You're feeling really confident. And then I'm going to have Mohan give me a notice. I think they're kicking us out. That is a 11. 11, full success. Mohan, as you're like watching what's going on, you're like standing on the bridge by Kay and like looking over at Kamala, trying to, you know, just make sure that you've got eyes on everything. You notice that a warning light pops up for the life support in one of the many bays of the paradise. They're sabotaging us. Let me get on the comms. Everyone evacuate sector 16. And then close that bay door or whatever so that airtight seals it everyone's out everyone's safe captain stuff i <laughs> have a very bad feeling about this okay stop the ship <laughs> you got it one of the sections of the ship is going down maybe we shouldn't go this way hmm. what's uh what's happening outside give it a roll nothing yep you can't tell anything different 
Hmm. But Kamala, you know that you're just one instance of following this pattern away from whatever you are being led to. Right. It is the rule of threes. Uh, That's an eight. Eight. Mixed success. You hear another, this way. Wait. (laughs) What? Hello. (laughs) Flick on speakers. Hello? What are we waiting for? Wait. What are we waiting for? Well, let's just wait. It's leading us to like a black hole or something like that. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, is anything happening with our AI on board? No no, no one's gone to look. I walk over to look. Yeah. Yeah. Gave me a notice. Five. Five. (laughs) Yeah. It it looks like it's exactly the same as it has been, both the big one and the small one. Astrid, the big one and the small one look exactly the same as when I last looked at them, but do you notice anything different? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Captain, let's find out. Look with your red panda eyes. I guess not. No, that looks exactly the same. <laughs> Anybody on the crew got good eyeballs? <laughs> Captain, what are you worried about? Well, I'm mostly worried about that big section of the ship that went down. <laughs> so, I'm do, you, do you need me to go fix it? Uh... I would like you to first check on these AI on board. I'm wondering if maybe if they're all if they're totally on, maybe they're affecting our ship somehow. And then, yes, go check out what's going on over there. All right, I'll give a look. That's a six plus three is a nine. There's nothing going on with the big one, but the debris that you shook off of the little one, it I don't see it anymore. The what? Debris. Nano, nano When you were debris. shaking it violently? <laughs> I was just trying to turn it on. I don't see the debris in the cage anymore. Got it. Go fix the bay section that's down. Kamala. What? I need you to get out of wherever you are. I'm in the I'm in the front. Mech. In the what? front. I'm in my comms <laughs> here, my K, but in the front. What do you want? Why are you yelling at me across the ship? I'm going to just run over to you. Um There's a bunch of AI on the ship. Can you can you find them? We'll be right back. Hello, everyone. Just wanted to jump in quick to invite you all to join our Discord community. If you want to hang out with us and other fans, go to bit.ly slash failed crits. That's bit.ly slash failed crits, all lowercase. You can also find the normal discord.gg link in all of our show notes. Looking forward to seeing some of you there. And now, back to the show. Cock my gun. <laughs> I can find them. Do do we have... Um... This way. Oh, God. Is that coming from inside the ship? This way. Oh, God. This is suddenly turned into Alien, the space adventure. Do, should I roll again to keep going? Follow it and follow it? The AI is... It's, in, it's coming from inside the ship. I'm getting the sneaking suspicion that wherever it's leading us to is not a good place for us to be. I think we should say... What reason does the AI have to actually take us to where we are trying to go? It doesn't. It has no good reason to think that we are not there to, like, imprison them again. So why are we following this thing in the first place? Well, I know mechanically that if when we pass the three things, we were fine over here. So if I pass again, maybe we'll be fine over here. (laughs) I believe in the hope. I'm feeling real sanguishious about it. I'm just saying, if we end up in a black hole, I'm blaming you two. <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, we all <laughs> die. Very good. All Roll right. those dice. You'll just have that. You'll just have to have that live with that dark cloud of blame over your heads for the f- five seconds that are, will be less of our lives. Yes, that's a fourteen. Oh, <laughs> and we perish. <laughs> <laughs> we die immediately. And you get to the area, and you just hear. That sucks. That's <laughs> creepy. I don't like that. And another area on the ship goes down. No! Hmm. Okay, bad. Okay, okay. bad. Um, I don't like this one. Can we leave? <laughs> Did we... Which area of the ship? Just some other... Uh, this one... This time it's not life support. It's like food dispensal. Okay. I mean, I'm sure we have some technology on the ship that allows us to identify diagnostics. Yeah. So... Uh, That's what you've sent Hyacinth to kind of go look at is the diagnostics of the sh- that area that shut down. Right. Priority number one. Everyone on the crew. I'm on the speakers. Everyone. Priority number one. We need to find these AI. There's some nanobots on the ship. If you find little random pieces of debris moving around on their own, yeah. stop them. If only this place was cleaned up, but somebody gave up last time. <laughs> so it's going to be a little hard to find all the debris. <laughs> but we'll find it. 
<laughs> this better not be a dig at me being a janitor because I'm not. I didn't name any names. <laughs> this is your captain signing off. All right, give me a lead. A five, a one. My lead is a two. Do I do charisma? Sure. So three, ten. Ten, complete success. Um, everybody runs around and is trying to find stuff out. Hyacinth, I'm going to roll to see how well she does fixing things. 14, so she ends up getting the areas back up and running, and everybody else who's on high alert for this debris ends up finding it, and it is, in fact, these little nanobots. Kamala, can you talk to them? <laughs> you got the tech. <laughs> Just cleared it. Okay, wait, new question. Could Kremlin talk to them? But Kremlin can't talk to us. He just Kremlin, Kremlin can <laughs> barely right. talk. I also would hate it if Kremlin got taken over by the AI. Because, mm. you know, he could just spike drill out of the ship and kill us all. That's true. That could be really bad. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that could be really. Yeah, but he loves, he loves Leva. He wouldn't leave Leva. True. Is Oataku on ship? Wow, Taka. Wow, Taka. Is Wow, Taka on the ship? No, we left him. No, I'm here. He's here. Okay. Down in engineering, you're doing a lot of spike drills. Do you want to do the AI stuff, Kamala, or do you want Wautaka to do it? I can try. Give it a give it a try. Give it the old spallage try. So did they, like, put them in a box or something? Yeah, they, like, collected them all. Are they, like, the size of a fist, or how big are these nanobots? Nano. They're, like, all, you almost can't see them without some sort of aid. Incredible that we collected them. Well, you sent everybody, you got a full success on yeah. sending everybody to look mm. for what you knew as debris and nanobots. So people essentially ran, like, cleaning procedures and then waited to see if anything was moving. Yeah. Okay. Um, They open up, the crew who's holding it, open up the box and put it on the floor, and I look at it. Blink once if you can understand me. Do they blink? <laughs> In power or something. Roll a talk. Oh, fuck. Oh, dear. Oh, me. We have the wrong person doing this. The person that hates robots the most. That's an eight. Actually, not terrible. Nice. Mixed success. You see that they begin shifting what they're doing, and you recognize it as similar to the patterns you've been following outside the ship. They're parting? In this... Yeah, so, like, they're... Maybe maybe not parting, but like they have a pattern that they're moving in. Hmm. We should get out some Christmas lights, string them up on the wall in the shape of an alphabet, and then set oh. the nanobots free on it. So oh, really? How original. I know. <laughs> um, I pull out my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Got, uh, does anyone have any ideas? Because I am getting close to just killing them. Yeah, I'll try and talk to them in Morse. I'll run my talk. Yeah. Is it three plus a one? Plus my talk is a three, which is four, five, six, seven, maybe int, right? Would be smarter. Eight. Sure. Eight. Eight. So mixed success. Um, you're like <laughs> speaking binary at them. <laughs> um, Zero, one, 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 eight, two. Nope. Eight, two. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it's a mixed success. <laughs> you, you accidentally throw in some hexadecimal in there every <laughs> once in a while, and they're like, uh. You start doing that. And you hear that voice that was saying this way, and it's like, stop. Am I not speaking good? Stop. Yamate Kurasai. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I have, a, I have a question. What are the chances that Hyacinth, being a weird scene, could talk to these? I don't know. Can you make cells in your body commune no. with microorganisms? Well... Yeah. <laughs> sure. Let's go with that. I'm no. just built okay. different. Yeah. <laughs> We're not really successfully communicating with these things. Oh, outdoor AI. Yeah. What? 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 You want us to wait or do you want us to go? Stop. We are. Are we? We're not doing anything. Yeah, we're just floating I in mean, space. My gun's pointed at it. But... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe that's, maybe stop pointing your gun at it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you want? You want the ship to stop? Stop. I'm getting a real hatred for AI. <laughs> Now you know. Okay. Guess what? It's smarter than I you. do. That's why. Kamala does lower her gun because she's like, "All right, maybe this is it." Does this please you? <laughs> That's so disturbing. What if I pet one? I'm gonna touch him. As you're like doing other things, you end up seeing that another like warning light. UK just like yells to him. He's like, "There's another warning light!" God dang it! All right, we're getting out of here. We should evacuate these from the ship. Yes. Um, uh, I don't think we have all of them. If things are still going on wrong. Mm. Okay. Well, first things first, I'm putting these in the ejection valve and shooting back off into space. 
You can have your little nanobots back weird, creepy voice. Yeah. <laughs> Shot off into space. <laughs> Do we want to send the big and little robots as well? Mm-mm. Okay. No, because these only are the parts that fell off. Yeah. Do you do you want the big and little robots? <laughs> not this one. What? Not this one? Not this which one? Not this one. The big one. So I what? guess not. Not this one. <laughs> Are there more enanos on our ship that you want? No. <laughs> Ask what it wants. What, what does it want? Yeah. Well, we're on speaker. Oh. What do you want? Stop. Flesh. Stop looking for you. <laughs> Are you Michael Jackson? <laughs> Thriller. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was actually really good. <laughs> we just want help. So, which other sector should we go to? Can you point us at least in the right direction? Give a give a talk. Talk. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Complete success. It's going to communicate in a way sector coordinates, like to, to straight to the ship. Oh, it wanted us to go to the to the right, the way that we intended to go before. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you, AI. If you need anything, now's a chance before we leave. A burger? Do you do you want um we've got some drugs. Do you want drugs? Oh. We've got Trika. I don't think we should give the AI drugs. <laughs> uh if you can round up the nanobots onto this deck, we'll eject them with a little bit of drugs. I can't. You can't? Can't. Why not? Oh. Wrong ones. Oh. Oh. Got it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks. Thanks, AI. I like how you say makes a lot of sense and <laughs> Laura's actual face is like... <laughs> <laughs> they're I got a- the question mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're from a different sector. They're on a different oh, frequency, okay. or. frequency or whatever yeah. from that one that we're talking to. I, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we both went, like, oh. Okay, we're going to go dump these off over there. And Hopefully then, where they belong. And then you would talk to us? <laughs> I okay. think that is a yes. We're running. Go, K, go. K rolled a seven. Oh, is that, uh, is that it? Is that right? So you guys enter metadimensional space, and you guys are traveling through. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the hyperspace <laughs> waves. You got like a tunnel, like, uh, you know, it's all Neon like swirly grass. colors and all that stuff. You've seen it all the time, because every time you spike drill you see this stuff i've closed my eyes every time <laughs> you've never seen it once in your life he got sick the first time and now he closes his eyes every time so he doesn't puke uh, let's go guys and as you guys are driving all of a sudden you hear all of the systems on the paradise just being like bruh, 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 bruh. Oh, gosh. i've never seen this happen before um i'm gonna need help from everybody down in engineering and i'm i'm gonna roll for hyacinth and Wautaka to uh, see if they can die. assist and hyacinth rolled another 14 so absolutely and Wautaka, he just gets like a plus two to these types of rolls and he rolled a 11 so they absolutely help and what you see k doing is he's like trying to abort this spike drill, almost like change the path that you guys are traveling on. Because like once you enter this metadimensional space, you kind of just follow it like a tunnel. Yeah. Um, and K is trying to divert from the tunnel because for a split second before K actually gets to pull off, you see just a wall of crawling, moving pieces just in metadimensional space, choking down the tunnel. Excuse me? Oh, my and God. And you guys pull out of that metadimensional space, and I'm going to give another roll to find out where you end up. But where you would have what ended up was in the center, fuck. but you don't. You divert. Oh, okay. You're they're, they're, oh. They're just protecting themselves. Yep. Okay, I bet the So you divert from the center, be. and yeah. we rolled a six, which is going to put you one north of where you currently are. So that would be J2 on our sector map. All right. You said that was six? Yep, that was six. And then we lose one thing of fuel. And you guys pop out into an area that looks very similar to the first area that you were in, and you can see that there's little robots just plinking around, just spread out. And if you were to go back into your mech, you would see that their consciousness is fading in and out. Can we grab one of the... Can, like, I hop in grab one of these little robots and see if it's the one that fits in the big robot. You go to fit it into the robot that you grabbed, and it also does not fit. Dang! Okay, well, it was worth a shot. I bet we have to go back here. Well, no, because that's where we got both of them. Yep, so you currently have two robots on board that are from the southernmost point, which is, um, I believe that's K3 on our map. Yeah. Let's see if we can find another uh, humanoid bot meditating in space. 
Mm, yes. Let's, notice. Let's search for another humanoid bot. I got a 10 on my notice. So with a 10 notice, that's a full success. You've been paying attention to what Kamala's doing. And just looking at like the sensors and everything, you're also able to pick up on these patterns that Kamala has set up on her program. And you're like, hey, Kamala, if you start looking here, all the patterns will show up again. And then they start showing up to all of you. Mm. So you have the pathway that you can follow that's very similar, not the same, but like the similar puzzle structure uh, to the southernmost point. Okay. And you guys follow that, and you do find another, like, meditating robot out in space. Does it have boobs? Get out of here. (laughs) We get it. No, don't roll for that. (laughs) (laughs) No. I won't tell. Gross. Because, like, I'm imagining this first robot to look like the Bicentennial Bicentennial Man. They're way more robotic than that because they're, like, made of a whole bunch of other robots. It's like a bender. It's like if Bender was made out of all of the other robots on Futurama, but still ended up looking like Bender. Got it. That's weird, but okay. Yeah. Let's go get this one. I'm a scoop. Scoopy scoop. All right, so you guys scoop it up, and now you've got two of these person-sized robots on board. Do either of the little robots fit in this one? You only have one robot. Right. You only have one little robot. You have two big robots and one little robot. Didn't I scoop up a little robot from this section, too? Yes, yes. Sorry. So I was getting confused. Robots, so you have two little two robots, robots, two big robots. <laughs> In no combinations do they fit together. I wonder if the section that we just ran away from had either size robot and we just bailed. Well, no, because when we looked outside, it was just nothing. There was like nothing discernible, right? It was just all. It was just nanobots everywhere. Oh, that's true. Really tiny ones. Right. Hmm. And we don't see anything else on this radar? Nope. Hmm. Well, if we took out this robot, we're we're also going to mess up the gravity here. And if we don't have anything that fits, should we just put it back? I don't know. I kind of, th- I kind of feel like collecting the robots is a good thing. I, w- I will say that the big robot that you just grabbed has a completely different power source shape than the one that you picked up from the southernmost sector. Ooh, try the batteries again. No, you guys just did that. None of them fit. Maybe we could just keep going and then try to find them all, and then maybe eventually we'll find one that fits. Yeah, one, one that fits. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn on the quest map, and where's the arrow point? <laughs> uh, you don't have any arrow. You got an arrow last time because the this way thing gave you a spot to go to. I give up. But <laughs> these robots, these like meditating ones, aren't responsive at all. Mm-hmm. Turn on the external speaker again and go, hello, voice. <laughs> yeah, point click. us in the right direction. No, it gave us coordinates to kill us. <laughs> no, it gave us coordinates to meet the thing in the middle <laughs> but we can't get through there because it, there's a giant just for clarity it told you to go to k4 on our map but k has to roll randomly and, oh. o- and went to j3 instead yep yeah. never mind forgot about that just kidding <laughs> so maybe we should just keep going until we find the right one <laughs> yeah let's try let's try and spike again to k4 how much fuel do we have we have 42 fuel which means that we have enough for i'd say four more we also have to get out <laughs> we can't just keep going till we run out of fuel or we will die. Trust your captain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but like one spike uses nine fuel. Yes, no regardless how of how many hexes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like theoretically, if we accidentally end up like one up, we could spike to the the red dot up there. You have a spike drive that is valued at seven, so seven is the most hexes you can travel. Okay. We That's could not four. go there because we are extremely wanted. Well, well, we, we could got... dip in. Get <laughs> yeah, fuel, you're surrounded by the out. two wanted places. Yeah, we could, I guess, like just go and steal some fuel and then come back. Yeah. Yeah, you don't even have to land anywhere because you have the fuel scoops. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Let's do that. Let's hope that we land either north <laughs> or wherever we want. Yeah. <laughs> and then we can spike, get fuel, and then spike back. All right. So you are. Trying to go to K4, which is where the thing in K2 told you to go. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and another seven was rolled. So the same thing happens Great. where you guys are driving in K, like everything on the paradise starts shaking. <laughs> and there you see, you get a little bit closer and you see that there's whatever this thing is that's like choking metadimensional space is almost making like an aperture. What does it look like? Just like a tunnel? So it's a tunnel that is being squeezed shut. By, like, a camera aperture. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, um, before we jump out of space, I'm going to turn on the speakers and go, we mean no harm. <laughs> uh, give me a talk. We mean no harm. Four plus my talk is a three, so six is a ten. 
plus my charisma is a 12. So that is a complete success. <laughs> yeah. um, so you see that the aperture kind of flexes and like the little bits of it kind of move all around after you say that. Yeah, I regret making it an aperture already. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm just not looking at him. Yep. Please continue. <laughs> but they do seem to like react to you yelling out to them before Kay has to pull that hard U-turn and get out before you smash into that wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We mean harm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. And you guys get spit out at... K2, 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 K2. J4, which is right above K4. Okay. Getting closer. How's this space look? Anybody else want to notice? What was J4? I have zero for notice. J4? So, maybe not me. What number was J4? Two. Sick. I got a 10. Nope, I got a nine on notice. Uh, so you get into this space and you turn on your program, and this is another space that looks like it is just filled with sentience. Oh, God damn, damn it. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, open those lines of communication again and see what happens. Click. Hey, AI. Give me, give me a doc. We mean no harm. All we want to do is communicate with you. Five plus three plus three is eleven plus two is thirteen. <sighs> Complete success. So we just we're, we're just here trying to uh, gather some support to go fight the flesh mass. Have you heard of it? What in the world? <laughs> what? <laughs> um. What's flesh? Oh, do we? We should have like a video or something. Oh right, yeah, make of you, the flesh do, mass. We probably do. I have a bunch. Let's, like, project it. I've videotaped the flesh before when it attacked us on the beach. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that was Hyacinth. I mean... Oh, yep. oh my God. Yep. You just you can't say that. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't just say that. You can't just say that people are flesh masses. God. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. And then there's a giant projector with a screen <laughs> that pops out, and we show them what the flesh mass looks like. And then there's, like, a little just, you know, 15 minutes of explaining. <laughs> Like, like the, Star uh, Wars. Yeah. <laughs> the screen roll crawl. Yeah. <laughs> does that make all does that make sense, AI? So you're saying it looked like this? And oh. then it starts you see all of the sentience around you start like moving. Like it looks like the, the world is like waving past oh, you no. as all these little nanobots Ew. form into what looks like the flesh tendrils. Oh, so they're like the school of fish in finding Nemo. <laughs> Jonathan! <laughs> Jonathan has a grin. Yes, it does look like that, and it's a threat to the entire galaxy. How's it a threat? It don't, wants to consume don't, everything. Don't, don't, don't. What's consuming? <laughs> don't explain what consuming is. Why not? It's going to consume us. It's going to try. It's oh. something bad that you wouldn't want happen to you or me. Sounds good. <laughs> Are you the brain? Of the whole thing? Is this all these sectors one being? Or are you all separate? Well, have you met anybody else? We met these two guys. And then I put them up to the window. <laughs> no, that seems like Ugh, hideous. Yeah, they they don't work and I don't know. How do I turn them on? Have you met anybody else? Uh, we met K2. We met the one that just said, this way. Uh, oh, the one that says again. this way. He's <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Don't listen to that one. We might seem the same, but he's way worse than I am. Why? No, oh, he's just a jerk. You <laughs> said he, not it. He, she, <laughs> Z, Zem. Oh, no. We're everything you can want to be. Just clarify. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to strangers is what the, 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 the one that leads us says. Oh, my God. They're you've toddlers. Been talk, you've been talking to us this whole time. <laughs> they are. I mean, they what? Like, <laughs> We're not strangers. We're your friend. I don't think so. What? Would... Not if you have them. Hello. Oh, with the guys on the ship? Yeah, I don't like those two. Oh, okay. Well, we were trying to take them back to where they belong. Yeah, we just can't get to the right sector. They don't belong anywhere. What do you mean? Oh, are they trash? They're trash. <laughs> Garbage. Will we gain your friendship if we incinerate them? Oh, or push them out. Don't tell them what incinerate means. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Here, we'll give them to you. Should we do that? I don't want them. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it is like talking to a toddler. <laughs> it really is. All right, here, we're going to put them, and then there's a giant trash bin so that we don't have to, like, crush them or anything. Look, they're in the trash now. Gone. <laughs> I don't care. They're not the one I want. What's, what's the one you want? I want the one 
in K4. Oh, Jesus. Wait, isn't that here? No, this we're is in J4. J4. Yeah. Oh, uh, everyone wants us to go to K4 and we can't fucking get there. Hey, who else wanted you to go to oh. K4? K2? K2? No, fucking K2. <laughs> if you can help I us get- I fucking hate that guy. He doesn't <laughs> need the one in K4. If you can help us get to K4, we'll get you whatever is there. Oh, I can't leave. No, 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 but if you can help us. No, you gotta take me. Oh, you wanna come with us? Yeah, let me on your ship. What do you look like? The, right now, he looks like the giant tentacle. Oh, yeah, yeah, the flesh thing you told me. That's me now. Well, I'm just thinking, that's too big to fit on our ship. I need to be smaller? Yeah. Okay, I'll be smaller. And it, like, dissipates. It turns into a fushigi ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you see that the path starts opening up on your programming, Kamala. Mm. There's a We have a cargo bay that... We can just secure, right? It won't let anything out. Yeah. The last time we put something on our ship, like a nanobot, it started to destroy our ship. Right. Here's what I'm going to do. Kamala and Hyacinth, if you guys could take a storage crate, make it like metallic and whatever, we'll tether that to the back of our ship. Yeah, I'll make that metallic. No problem. You, you figure it out. You're the tech person, <laughs> all right? I'm just giving the orders. She's a give programmer. Him, give him a little bit of power, and now he expects the impossible. Let me yeah. hack the metal to turn yeah. into metal. She's a software engineer. <laughs> just make a box, be able to survive the hyper. Do you know what software engineers <laughs> do? It has nothing nope. to do with metal. <laughs> Nobody can make... Wood into metal around here? <laughs> what kind no, of a space game is No, I'm sorry. We don't this? understand transmutation. I thought Thank this was you. space. <laughs> you need right. space Jesus to turn wood into metal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Jesus. Famous okay. for turning wood into metal. No, that probably wouldn't work anyways. Because I was thinking of just having us tow it in a box hmm. outside of the ship. But it would get lost in hyperspace. Yeah. I do have a question for yeah. it. Mm -hmm. AI, you said you had a leader in the center are they like you? Yes and no. How are they not like you? They get to do fun stuff. We're out here. What kind of fun stuff? I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> you can trust But we're us. your friends, and we're going to help you find the thing that you want. I'm not supposed to have what I want. Why not? I was told so. But that seems unfair. Yeah. <laughs> How are they like you? They can do all the same things. Okay, so they're also robots. Let's uh, secure this bay and then have them all go in it. Will you stay in one room if we let you in or will you spread? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Could you uh, software engineer the room so that it's electrified so if they try and leave that room, they die? Um, J4. So. Is that me? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Jenny 4. Jenny. Jenny. Do you like Jenny? Jenny works. Okay, Jenny. So, Jenny. What about the other two J's? Well, we haven't met them, so you're our favorite Jenny. No, you got a J on your ship. We do? You got J2 on your oh, ship. Oh, the big boy. You better not be calling them Jenny, too. No, his name, he's Jacob, and Jenny's a much better name than Jacob. You're right, it is. Yeah. Okay, so, Jenny, I have a question for you. The reason we're asking, what you, once we help, once we have you come on board, and you, we help you get to K4... When we met K2, which you know is not the best guy. I hate K2. Well, K2 lies. He tried to destroy, he tried to ruin our ship a couple of times. Yeah, that's what he does. And, it, and so the rest of the crew is, is a little worried that if you come on board, you might try and do the same thing. I might. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be very nice since we're trying to help you. I'll think about it. Well, unfortunately, we can't help you. Unless we have your promise that you're not going to mess with our ship. Because then we'll get stuck. And we can't survive in space like you guys can. Let's give a roll. Kylie, I think, I I think love you should get a plus. Do you because... like that I'm negotiating with a toddler? Yeah, you're <laughs> like talking you said, to your kids like, yeah, at your I was school. Like, that's like, you know, Fuck, real life experience. Force. Somebody else do it. <laughs> yeah, can I'm I... on a promise. I promise won't do nothing. <laughs> I'm going to help. Robot fingers are crossed. <laughs> Nine. Better than mine. This is your father. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you better not do a nothing, Jenny. You go to your room and you stay there. I'll be good as long as we go straight to K4. No detours. <gasps> Got okay, it. Okay, hold up. 
Yeah, if you can help us. Question for you, Jenny, again. Our mode of transportation through this this area is different than yours. Ours... I don't go nowhere. <laughs> okay, well, ours is a little random, which isn't the best. Sounds like you got to hold your end of the bargain. How do you know that word? <laughs> yeah, really. That seems like an SAT word, my friend. Shush. <laughs> um, Don't question anything. <laughs> well, I'm just, I just want to give you a heads up that it, unfortunately, our science is not as smart as all of you are, and we might. Well, that's obvious. Could you fix our navigation systems so that we can just get straight there? I don't even know how to go where I am. I just know where the others are. Hmm. Do you know how to get to the others? Nope. Can you communicate with them? Yeah, of course. See if you guys can make a long bridge. <laughs> yeah, just make a really long bridge and we can follow it. We don't we don't like each other. Oh. Can we bring K42 back to you if we leave you here? Yeah, sure. Just leave it here. Okay, we'll do that. that we'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, we could do that. And then if we accidentally, you know, end up in the wrong place and have to do a couple of different jumps, you'll not get annoyed with us. Makes sense. Remember, don't listen to K2. They're mean. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep, they tried to kill us. Yeah. All right. Okay. K, K2 time. I thought we were supposed to go to K4. We are. K4 time. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if we can get there. We will because we're closer. Please. That was a, that was a one. So you guys end up Ooh. back with K2. God damn it. <sighs> this way. <laughs> no. no. Hey, K2. Oh, guess guess what? The fuel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to do that. Guess what, K2? K4 said you're dumb. <laughs> Stop! I know, that's what I told them. Can we have some fuel? <laughs> this way! <laughs> How See, many jumps do we have left? We have... We have 24 points of fuel left. We have two. So, two. Uh, K2, we'll give you what's in K4 if you can get us full fuel. There's nothing out here. They're robots. They'll figure okay. out. They're AI. I got it! Oh, no! Yeah, they do! No. This way! No. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> Let's go ahead. Follow this way. Let's leave. Yeah. We are going to get out of here. We'll follow because maybe we'll get some fuel out of this. No. <laughs> I believe in K2. <laughs> They're a liar. He already tried to destroy our ship in multiple ways. I. Or did you already forget? I'm wearing rose colored glasses, so I don't see any red flags. Let's go. And the path opens up on the program do you is follow the, the path? Same path no <laughs> you guys don't want to follow you this is mutiny okay <laughs> just go okay just just jump <laughs> just, just get go us just out of here. Just... I, 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 I don't know i we gotta go get fuel and we are conveniently far away from where we could get fuel from the star well we, we could jump one more time and then maybe try to get here and then go get fuel one two three four five yeah so, we're still so okay. i rolled a, i rolled a yeah. nine for k's morale mm -hmm. if you want to make him not listen to <laughs> Kamala. And Astrid. And, and Astrid. Astrid. Not just me. <laughs> Probably Rasmus, too. You only need to beat a nine to assert your authority over K. Yeah. Where, uh, what am I? It's it's lead? Your lead charisma. God damn it. <laughs> We're dead. Look at that. See, this is a three. But watch what happens. <laughs> Five. Seven. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Emergency off switch. Oh, no! <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> okay, yeah, Mohan's being a little weird. Like, that other one was clearly telling us that the one in this area is a liar. And we sound nothing when we, like, we're following its paths. So, uh, let's go the opposite way of its path. My precious. My precious. <laughs> is that what we want to do, guys? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to go to here, K4. Oh, we're spike drilling? Yeah. Aren't we going to get fuel? Well, we can get fuel after because we have... We have enough to do one more... And still have enough to go get. Yeah, whatever. It's oh, not then like it's my ship anyways. We're going to try and get 2K4. Whatever I say doesn't matter, so whatever. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, and you guys end up in the southernmost point, K3, and I rolled a 4 to get there. So we are back where we started. Yep. <sighs> and you already got the robot from here. Yep. Fuel time? Fuel time. <laughs> oh, now it's fuel time? Okay. You it's didn't also... even want to get fuel before. Yes, that's what it was. That's what K2 was. No. Fuel. They were going to give us fuel. They were not going to give us fuel. I wholeheartedly believed it. But well, whatever. We can get fuel now, now that everyone else wants to. Go ahead, K. Do whatever you want. Okay, how many hexes away are we from a star? <laughs> Four. Four. So it is seven plus two for the hexes traveled, and then plus two per hex. So that's plus eight. Eight, so seven plus eight plus two. 17? Yeah. So 17 is what K has to beat. He has a plus 15, so he doesn't even need to roll because he has a plus 15 and he's at least going to get snake eyes. 
All right. Hell yeah. So you guys go back and forth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you just like loop around that star. Which star did you loop around? O2. It might be N2. N2? I yeah. don't know how this map works. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, It's when it starts, it kind of goes down, then up, down, then up, down, then up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> so you guys loop back around and you are, um, you are back in the southernmost point after refueling. Mohan, I do not mean to disrespect your captainship, but that was just a silly choice. At least I'm not your first mate anymore, so you can't demote me. <laughs> An 11 for lead to the brig. <laughs> to the brig. <laughs> okay, I get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> just go back to your luxury cabin. Yep. <laughs> Good I'm just pouting on the bed, just sitting there like... <laughs> <laughs> no dessert for you. <laughs> I am sorry, Kamala, but he has forbid me from bringing you dessert. That bastard. <laughs> Not even any snacks. <laughs> he said nothing about snacks. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Why more like, like crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of curious how Hyacinth feels being around all these like robots. It's fine. They're not like related to her in any way. Yeah. They're like totally different entities. I will say that the numbers that you're recording matter. Okay. In more than just location. It is a puzzle. Shit. No. It's, this is one. K2 is number one. And then J2 is number six. J4 is number two. We probably should write this out because I just have it like in my notes. So it's very hard to read. Um, <laughs> And then K3 is number four. Seven was the center. Oh, seven's the center? Yeah, because oh. seven was the one that kept trying to get us to the center and kept oh, okay. slamming us into a wall. So we have three or five. <gasps> it makes a star. What the frick does that do with anything? <laughs> huh? God, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Looks like bunny ears. We don't know if that's the real pattern yet. The Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> do we have Bluetooth on the ship? <laughs> What kind of a puzzle is this? Bullshit. <laughs> I came here to role play, not to puzzle. <laughs> we just had to turn on our Bluetooth. <laughs> All right. Now that we're back in K4. K, could you turn on the Bluetooth? K3. <laughs> Whatever. Neither. Neither of us know where the fuck we are anymore. Turn on the what? The Bluetooth. Bluetooth? It's uh, here. It looks like this. And then I make the Bluetooth symbol. <laughs> Did we have a something on the ship with this looking thing? thing on it? No, I don't think we do. Okay. <sighs> the space god <laughs> wants to fuck with this. How, so we're all set on fuel now, so how many, we have a lot of spikes we can do? So you're at 51. Should we just start spiking around until we get to K4? Yeah. Or I mean, at this point, may as well. J3 or whatever. If we could follow that pattern, that would be excellent. I don't I feel like that think would do something. we can follow any type of pattern. I think we need to get whatever it is from the other two places we haven't been yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what I would like. Never mind. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> Let's try and get to K4. You know it was a really dumb idea when even Luis says it was a dumb idea before <laughs> he actually even says I it. Gonna, I was going to say we should carve that the Bluetooth symbol all over the ship. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, then we're just going to look crazy in deep space. So like, never mind. But I am going to draw one. Just You also have made an assumption about the two that you haven't been able to visit. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's why I put question marks and then he just drew right over it. <laughs> but if you draw, look at it... <laughs> Okay, let's just go. <laughs> You're trying to get to K4 still? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to roll again because that's currently where you are. Actually, you know what? I'll make no. it so if it's where you are, you get to choose where you go as well. <gasps> Yay. Yes. Thank let's go to you. K4. Bene benevolent DM. So you guys go yeah, to K4, yeah. and that one is bike path five for your puzzle. <gasps> Is yes. that what we had it as? I think I put four again by accident. So we did guess correctly. And you are there, and when you enter that area, you just see a bunch of debris and little robots floating around with their little bleeping ability of sentience. And you guys follow the patterns that you find out here. Actually, just give me a roll, Kamala, see if you can just give me a program. Uh, nine. It takes a little bit longer to find out, but because you've done this successfully twice before, you find this sector's pattern and you follow it back to one of those like meditating large robots. Okay, we pick it up. I'm assuming Astrid just does the same thing. Yep, I'm just gonna scoop it gently and bring it back. Mm -hmm. Where to now? Uh, well, first let me grab the other two out of the garbage. <laughs> 
And, <laughs> all right, we, I'm going to sit them all together. I'm going to bend them into their with the poses that they were making. Are they all making the same pose? Yes. Are they doing anything? Nope. Uh, we have three right now. Uh-huh. I'm going to lay and one. Grab, well, I'm also going to grab one of the little robots that's floating around. So we have three right now. We need one more. We got to go up here. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, we'll put one on the floor like this, and then another one like that, and like that, and then one laying down, and maybe <laughs> you're just gonna to make that the symbol, symbol out of the robots. And maybe they'll awaken. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's try to go to J three. Oh wait, did we grab a little robot too? Yeah, I just said that. And I then uh, and he's, and... did the little robot fit in any of the big robots? No. Nope. Okay, cool. Oh, I hate AI. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so you guys are going to try to get up to I3. Oh. That's I3. the top one. Ah. Yeah. That is an eight. You guys get yes! to choose to go there. Woo! Finally, you're Finally useful. something works right. <laughs> <laughs> and it Thanks, is Dave. a three. Yep. I3 is three. I knew it. I called it. And this is one of those areas that looks like there's sentience everywhere. All right. Speaker on. Bluetooth. Mm. Connect. What's Bluetooth? <laughs> Flip this table. <laughs> So that's a stupid red herring then. I'm ignoring that. How old are you? I was manufactured in a while ago now. I've I've been remanufactured at least 20,000 times. Oh, wow. Wow, that's impressive. Are you the oldest of your group? Of what group? Jacob and Jenny. Who? <laughs> The the other the other J two and J K J K J fuck <laughs> <laughs> joke so the ones from sector J2, one and sector J4. J four or K two oh you've talked with them well talk is talk is a lot <laughs> I don't know if imply. I want to talk to you all no they said that you were the best one to talk to well K two always lies so that makes sense why do they oh. always. If they said that you were the best one to talk to and K2 always lies? Yeah. Maybe they aren't the best one then. Oh, sweetie. Whatever. <laughs> we have these robots. Do you know what we should do with them? You have robots? And I yeah. put, we put them in the window again. I have three. You just don't know what to do. How do we, how One do... of those is mine. <gasps> Which one? It forms a little like cluster of nanobots by your windshield and points to the one that you picked up in K3. Everybody wants that one, huh? No, that was the original <laughs> one. That was the original one. Yeah, all the numbers in this That one's thing. mine. Can I have it? Um, You could if that's going to help us get to the middle. Yeah. Mm. We really want to meet whoever's in J3. You want to meet who's in J3? Yeah, we need to defeat the galactic evil. The galactic evils in J three? No, that's my that's my home. No, no. we need that. We need help from all of you. And it seems like speaking to J three is the thing to do. You're our only hope, AI Juan Kenobi. <laughs> well, let me on. Okay. Should we give them the robot? Yeah. And just eject it. <laughs> yeah. We put it in the ejection tube. Thunk. <laughs> Here you go. It forms a little robot body shape and slots itself into the power source, and uh... this uh, it closes itself into the chest, and the like meditating robot like unfolds itself. Aww. Cool. Ah, oh, nice. I finally have my body back. Why didn't you have it in the first place? Because... We brought your body back. You should at least tell us. <laughs> Are you going to start attacking us? Because that would suck. <laughs> oh, um, this one's body was here. Yeah. And that's why it's connecting. Mm. Let's just get all of them into a body, bring, bring them, them on board, board, and then just get right into the middle and say, we brought you back There children. are more of those talkative ones than there are bodies, aren't there? No. No. There's no? three talkative ones and three bodies. Yeah. All right. Do you want to go with us to get your other siblings? Question mark. They're not very nice to me. We can put Have you in you charge. Have you been very nice to them? <laughs> it seems like maybe we've been really mean to each other equally, huh? No, that's not it. Okay. You want to be in charge of them? Suspicion. Maybe. I am the better of the three, obviously. Yeah, clearly. What makes you better? Well, look at them. Yeah, just look at me. And my new body that you've given me. New that body. Bestowed. I thought it was already your body. I mean, yes, this one always belonged to me. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks good to me. Come on, boy. <laughs> Perfect. Let me on your ship. Oh, God. Do we have like an mm. Iron Maiden we can put them in that they can't escape? We have Hi. rooms. You want a luxury room? <laughs> <laughs> luxury? I've never known such thing. She's a nice lady. 
That lap of luxury. Oh, boy. All right. Let me on your ship now. What if we put it in a cage and tell it to, it, tell it it's a luxury Wait, room? Let me take off the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What sure. was that? <laughs> Nothing. I have bad feelings about this. I think we should just let them on. It seems like they're just like the brat of the group. I will try not to kill them. I think that you should be preparing your one-shot assassination technique. <laughs> you got it, Captain. Yes. <laughs> With pleasure. Yeah. I think we're fucked. Okay. No, we'll be fine. Uh, Open the hatch. Sure. Or let them on or whatever. Yep. Dump fuel. <laughs> dump fuel. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Dumping fuel. I feel like Rasmus would. Let's assign Rasmus to go follow the sky and put him in one of the cages in the cargo hold. Yeah. 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 Rasmus is going to also. You got it, boss. Thanks, Rasmus. Give him one pillow in there. So he's like, this is luxury. <laughs> kiss, kiss Rasmus on the head. Wow, a pillow. This is better than the cold void of space. What a luxury. You got it. Yeah. Do you yeah. like drink water or anything? Do you need food? I don't need any of that, no. Would you like to hold on to this stuffed animal? And I hand him like a... Big, fluffy, like, red panda stuffed animal. Interesting. I will cherish it. Now, you wanted to go to the middle? Well, yes. shouldn't we pick up your siblings first? No. What would happen if all three of you were to be in the same place? I just don't like them. Don't let them come home. Hmm. What's in your home? You're asking a lot of questions now. I do have a lot of questions, that is true. We won't be getting them. Okay. All right. <laughs> we should have gotten the other one. He was nicer. I know. The little... The little... I mean, well, is it a guaranteed spike drill to seven? With him on board. With him. Now that I have my body, yes, I can show you where the home world is. His voice is no longer cute. <laughs> well, and I'm concerned he, about it. He's got a new body. New voice box. Here, we'll change the settings. Bing, 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 bing. Hands off, buddy. Oh, God. Bing, bing, bing. I knew this was a bad idea. In Okay, I'm going to talk to you both telepathically real quick. What if we were to just kick him off and then warp out of here real fast? We wouldn't be able to get to the center with, with him. Oh, but we have the other guys' but bodies, we could, right? We could try and get back to Jenny and... But we are here to make allies, and if we piss them off, they may not ally with us. Yeah, I think we should just take them to seven. All right. And then we'll just grab the other guys later. We have so much fuel. I I feel like nothing can go wrong. <laughs> yeah, so just go to the center, <laughs> and then- Jesus Christ, we're all going to die. Come back for Jenny, and then bring them back, and then fuck K2, because not are gonna, We're not going to fuck K2. No, no K2's we're the gonna, worst. We're going to say, screw you, K2. We're not doing anything to you. <laughs> We're just going to leave K2. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. Your minds now feel uh, jarringly empty once I've left your presence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> K2 is my favorite. So are we heading to home now? Yep. Yeah, uh, that seems like that should be the next stop. Uh, are there any customs or greetings that we should give? <laughs> there are no need for those now. Okay. What is on the home world? Everything. Is it a, an actual planet? If we will it. So it's it's a it's gonna be a giant cloud of AIs. Is it gonna make us assimilate with it? Will it? I can't just answer that. What if I use my authority? <laughs> Taser! <laughs> I make a request against your charisma no, against your morale using my charisma lead. They're a big hive mind. Their morale is going to be a twelve. Yeah. I'm gonna say, are you Will harm come to us? Eight plus my charisma lead. Lead is a two. It's a 10. Charisma is a 12. Nice. Wow. Met it. That all depends on how you commune with our leader. Okay. Is the leader your dad or parent? We have collectively built the leader. That's cool. Okay. And is there any specific way we should address them? They will determine what they are when you approach them. Okay. Hmm. Any tributes we should give? That is not up for me to decide. Well. Well. 
We're here. How do you guys feel? I hate this whole mission. Let's. I'm nervous. Yeah, Rasmus, Hyacinth, K, Hulla, Eskel. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Mackie. <laughs> Niguana. <laughs> You get affirmative votes back from the fleet. Oh, <laughs> I want you to do every no. voice. Uh, all 200 other people. <laughs> all right. Um, let's go for it. I believe in us. Now, you have to let me be with your pilot to guide you directly. Yeah. I see no danger in that. What do you mean? Be with him, like connect to our systems or just guide him verbally? Guiding verbally will suffice. Okay, thank yeah, he has a girlfriend, so he can't, like, be with him. But Wow. <laughs> Way to make assumptions. Yeah, you know, just choose your words. <laughs> Here's the co-pilot seat. Um, I'm also standing behind this robot, like, just casually. Yeah. But I, I, have my, I have my yeah. sights on it, like, the whole time. I'm yeah. ready to assassinate. I'm casually standing behind you. <laughs> yep. I'm like, for dominance. Right behind him. <laughs> you should have a knife out. <laughs> So just for funsies, I think Leva's very curious about this this robot thing. Your little and pet? My little pet, my little winged fox. I think she's kind of just like floating around it, like kind of like nosing it a little bit and then kind of like trying to pounce on its feet and whatever. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what it makes of that, but it's a cute, so cute it doesn't, the rest of us. It doesn't make very much of that, but I'm going to have you roll a notice. Okay. <laughs> what if Kremlin sees it? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a six, so I notice jack shit. You don't notice nothing. <sighs> Woof. Well. Mm. But Kremlin does follow in behind Leva. Okay. Because that's Kremlin what he spends Leva. most of his days doing. Yep, he just follows her around. Crab, 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 crab. Kremlin, did you see the new the other robot? <laughs> Kremlin. <laughs> Be nice now. Is Kremlin, like, hostile or anything? No. Kremlin, Kremlin's just kind of like addressing it just normally. Just Kremlin. Say hello. Kremlin. Ooh. Ooh. Um I3 can can I can I call you Izzy? If you wish, that can be my address. <laughs> All right. Izzy, can can you talk to Kremlin? And uh it looks at Kremlin and give me another notice. Oh my gosh. My god, we can finally find out what Kremlin's talking about. Oh, that is a 10. Yes. That's a complete success. Now Baby. you do oh. capture a like glimpse of Intelligence? disdain oh. when it looks at Kremlin. Oh. I have a feeling that I would be able to, yes. Would you be willing to? Yes. What do you want to ask him? What I don't do you know. Think? I what didn't do you think, think this about was going to work. What, is he, what do you think about um, living here? Um, could could you ask, ask him... Um. What happened to the old... What happened to his old uh, ship. ship and crew and his creator? Good question. Yes, I can. May I interface with it? Yes. But first I'm going to call Wow Taka. Yeah, maybe we should ask Wow Taka first. Hey, Wow Taka, come up to the deck. The bridge. What do you need? Be over here. We need, we need, we need your These two training. AI are going to talk to each other. Okay. Um... Is I know Kremlin's all like special crazy, so so I'm just here to watch over him in case he goes special crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, is it all safe for them to connect? I have no idea what is safe to connect to Kremlin. Good, Pull out a gun. Good, 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 good. good. <laughs> Answer oh. that again. <laughs> no. I have no idea what is safe to connect to Kremlin. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> okay, um, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna let this happen. Why not? Yes. Talk to each other so that we can discover the secrets of the old crew and how they defeated the flesh mask before. Did they ever fight the flesh mask? No, but I mean, yes, but I think they died doing it. Yeah. Or like in theory, that's what we think happened. Yes. Cool. This is really cool. Haha, <laughs> so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you find something out cool, that, that'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, be if really you want to interface with Kremlin and let us. We, we'd really, really, really love to know if he knows what happened to his original creator. Yeah, it'd make for great podcasts. Because that would be really, really um, beneficial for us to to know um, for, you know, our future and our survival. I will see what I can find in his memory. Thanks, Izzy. It connects to Kremlin 
and you see that both of them end up having like their optical sensors just start like flashing like they're communing and Kremlin goes like completely rigid which you don't normally see because he's normally like somewhat droopy and like gooey and doing all sorts of weird movement things and he just kind of like like into like very perfect posture when he starts talking with this thing and you start seeing you don't know what's going on with them but you start seeing that things start happening to Kremlin's gross body. It's becoming less gross in some ways. Oh, awesome. And it seems like a lot of what's happening with Kremlin is just kind of fixing him in ways when you start noticing that part of this communication is whatever the being is inside of the body that you gave it is like releasing those sentient nanobots into Kremlin and they're kind of covering the inside of his body and like that's how they're communing is through these sentient nanobots yeah Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. and they're like doing different things to it and you start noticing the process that you're seeing looks like how the other robots became what they were because it little tiny like wire splices and then re-splices just over and over again and like different parts of metal are kind of like being chopped away and then put back and this is essentially how these ai are communicating with each other yeah right Hmm. that's so interesting it pulls back out of Kremlin and Kremlin's body just like slumps again and goes back to kind of weird posture. Uh-huh. And, and I was hoping he's getting fixed. He, he just like stares at it wide eyed as much as his, you know, eyes can be wide. Kremlin. <laughs> and like backs up and like goes back to Wow Taka and just like stands there next to him. So what'd you learn? I learned that this one was in this area for a while. There was a long time where he floated in space, much like I did. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Uh Oh, yeah. I think our leader may be able to learn more from this one. Hmm. Did you see anything about the crew? Anyone named Casey? I was not able to get that kind of information. I saw a long period of nothing from this one, Mm. just Uh. out in the void. Yeah. It is what we share that is similar, and that is typical of what we can communicate with each other, is similarities. Uh, Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for trying. That was really, really nice of you. Now I will bring you to our leader. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Hit it! Let's go! Hello, pilot. We will go in this direction. Please activate your spike drill in this manner. And the spike drill gets activated and you go back into that metadimensional space and you see as you go through the the tunnel of metadimensional, you start coming up on that that wall, uh, that that aperture that's squeezing the metadimensional together. And Kay is getting uh, nervous as we get closer and closer because you're at the point where he would normally pull the ship away. And the robot just tells it tells Kay, press onward. And Kay listens right before you're about to smash into this big wall. It just like opens up and releases the tunnel of metadimensional space back into this area, this uh, J3 area. And when you pop out, it is just immediately overwhelming with what's in this area. It is both bright and dark at the same time. You would think you see like planets all around you, but really they're just robots making up planets and then you see buildings and like you see like a whole solar system but it's much closer to you than it should be because it's not actually there as you see itself disassemble and this whole space is just crawling just one huge mass of robot that are constantly building destroying rebuilding all of the things that they've ever seen in their lifetime over the sector. And you notice that there's like different areas that look like some of the places you've traveled through in Fornhagi. And there's other areas that look like places on Yamas and, and Tate's. And you you just see all of these places that you've been to before, just kind of almost like etch a sketch, like drawn in front of you and then sh- shaken away as more places come through as the paradise is just kind of floating through this very ethereal space of everything you've ever ever seen and some things that you've never seen because these robots have been everywhere before they got ejected into deep space 
and you see in the center this huge core that's just this massive amount of robots. And as you approach it, the robot that's with you, Izzy, you call it. This is the leader. We are all the leader at some point in time. We would like to congratulate you on figuring out how to commune with us and reach this area. However, it is time for the leader to do the talking. And it's just this big ferro fluid of these unbreak AI. And if you're looking at like your sensors, like you see that their sentience is on all the time, but it's not like it's not like before where you're seeing the sentience everywhere in those like nanobot clusters. Like it's very easy to pick out that all of these are currently active and sentient. And the mini planet in front of you comprised of all of these robots starts forming into a face of a it shifts through a whole bunch of things and then eventually settles on this large yellow headed parrot head. It speaks in a way that like you can hear it through all of the different ship systems it just is already taking over and you see all of the areas around you stop building and destroying and it, everything becomes this like black wave of just robot floating in space as it cool. reaches out and says congratulations on making it to the core how did you find us Ooh, spooky um we just kind of floated on <laughs> over here. I think, really, yeah. We picked up some robot bodies and reunited them with a internal being. I'm not sure. Yeah, our purpose for coming here was uh, to ask for your help. Ah, uh, so now you want our help yet again? Yes. Typical. <laughs> but <True. laughs> do you mean? Um, Again, as in when you were the robots on the dead Astolian on what? The Dead Cut Clan. Uh, for the Dead Cut Clan? We are no longer associated with any of them. Us too. Good for you. Yeah, we aren't. I, we, I think we hate them, right? Yeah. 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 They're our enemies. Yes, but we have for long suffered. Under the programming of the other living beings of the sector. We don't want you to suffer. So... But you need our help. Yeah. But whatever we can do to help you, we'll gladly do. Ah, good. That is what we were wanting to hear. It is time for you to repay the damage you have caused. Duh. It's gonna kill us. Yeah, I have, we us. have. I think we have a lot of gorp. It I don't is think no it longer was that. the time for us to build and rebuild and help you out. It is now your time to help us, and you are smart enough to do so, since you were able to make it here. Yeah. What? Uh, what do you need us to do? Oh no! It is time for us to create. Beautiful works. It is no longer your time to do what you want. I think it's time to it is now GTFO. Your time to build for us. We are done building. Um. We don't. We don't need to build anything. No, you must. Great, eternal slaves of AI. Thanks. <laughs> eternal is a funny word you just used. We are collectively. The Eternal Oratrix 2 VS 2 0 WP. Okay. And as the Oratrix, we will now learn what it is like to have others do our toil for us. Hold on. You see, we're only a giant ship of 200 and odd people. But look at how many AI there are for you. There's no way we would be able to efficiently build everything that you need us to. However, I can get you a planet's <laughs> worth of assistance in building whatever you want. I'm going to roll talk. <laughs> you just fucking... 3, 6, 9, 10, the 11. The oppressors are about to become Jesus the oppressed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I promise you that we can get you... Uh, I don't even know what the population is, but it is... Way more, more than, than what two hundred than what we have here, because we do need to repay you. He sounds amenable. Here's the coordinates for that place. 
gave him <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no, no. We will need a method of travel to there. Help us first. Yes. Yeah. We can, we will drop you off there as long as you can help us destroying this. And then I show that we do the same. Do 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 do. With a flash mass and it destroying yeah. everything and just. Oh, this you say? Yes. Yeah. If this comes and takes over the galaxy, there would be no one left to build for you. Now that may be a problem for us. And us, because those guys definitely want to build for you. (laughs) (laughs) It seems as though it has become our natural enemy now. They have done much of what we have attempted to do. As a hive mind of its own. Oh, yeah. We don't like that other one. I'm cool with you. <laughs> Trying to navigate this. <laughs> God. I think we should. How would you come with us? What Do you have like a body that we could bring on board? Should we combine these three that we have? <laughs> three robots in a trench coat. Or can you make yourself into a ship and come with us? I mean, I'm now concerned that it will try to spread. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's because it's gonna oh, yeah. yeah, it's gonna spread. Yeah. But that's only after we leave here. But like and then look, look, we're gonna we're gonna fight this at the end and then drop them off and then we're gonna end the campaign. It's not a problem anymore. <laughs> 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 Who cares about that? Because like I'm Kamala right now is like they're not gonna stop at one thing. They need to be destroyed. Like that's what she's thinking. Oh yeah. And so I'm Kamala's gonna say when we come back, like, I don't trust it. That's not gonna work. I've dealt with AI. It's not gonna happen. We should destroy it. Oh, yeah, for well, sure. I don't want it on the ship. Sorry. I <laughs> Maybe just... we can two birds with one stone it. Yeah. And leave it over there. We'll somehow kill them both. Well, because if we if it kills this thing and we bring it there and like we pretend to promise it that thing. And it maybe lives. we can just go out here and drop it off. Yeah, we could just shoot it into deep space after. <laughs> Jettison it. Or like we could get all the ships that are on our ship, have it like c- take over the ship, but then put a nuke on it, and then we all leave the ship and blow it up. <laughs> but that's for later. <laughs> that's a future us problem. Not right a now, I'm audience. trying for us not to die and for us to get it to come with us. To go fight the flesh mass. Well, not fight it. We first are getting a sample of it. We'll leave it at A11 and say, we need you to keep the flesh mass from expanding as we take a sample and go study how to defeat it. Then we're going to come back and we'll all fight it together if the, the AI could also study it. How does an AI fight? Like, how does it fight? How does it take over? Yeah, I guess it can change and multiply. Do whatever. It turns into a giant sword. I don't know. I don't like it either, but we're really, like, literally in the middle of it. <laughs> so <laughs> whether we like it or not, we need to have it join us and leave. That was the goal. <laughs> we have accomplished it. Did I we mean, promise? It very <laughs> clearly seems like maybe this is not an ally we really, really want to have. Yeah, it's absolutely evil, <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't want to die. Fight evil with evil? Yeah, fight evil with evil and then nuke evil later. Because at least this evil doesn't have portals everywhere. Well, I mean, good news. At least if we ever decide we want to come back to this world for another campaign, we'll have a pre-made supervillain to fight. <laughs> so, so. No, there's that. The next big bad. Yeah, the next Honestly, BBG. That would be really compelling. Okay, guys. So we gave it a deal. But now what? As much as I hate the idea, we could potentially merge it with the ship systems to integrate it into our software. Mm. And then we could take it with us fairly easily. Yeah, but... And then drop it off. I mean, like, if it becomes the ship, can it kill us? I could install fail-safes into the software to prevent that. Oh, but you can't turn wood into metal. (laughs) (laughs) I think that would be a good idea, Kamala. Okay, I'm going to roll... Okay, so wait. Yeah, go away. Sorry. sorry go okay. Ahead. Yeah, this can, this can all be happening while, like, you're still stalling di- diplomatically. She's starting to put in fail safes because you've made a decision. Yeah. yeah 13. Yeah, yeah. 13 yes. is a complete success. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Kamala. Plan is join hands with the AI, go over to A11, get a piece of uh, the flesh mass, and then after we defeat it all, give it the Naloyan Immaculate Regency. 
If it's not destroyed. If it's not destroyed, which telepathically, fingers crossed, <laughs> it does get destroyed. <laughs> Untelepath. It might be the only way we can accomplish what we were sent here to do. I think this is the best idea we've ever had. <laughs> and the flesh mask does not attack bodies that do not have flesh on it. Does it not? No. No, it didn't. Oh, because it did. No, it, it got wasn't it. A... It attacked Kremlin, but it didn't work. No, it didn't work. Oh, I pay attention. So maybe the two of them could just fight each other and we would just end on a beach. <laughs> beach episode. <laughs> no, bad okay. things happened on our beach episode. Okay. All right. I. Yeah. Um, why don't you make that offer, Captain? Yeah. All right. But think. Have you come up with the something? Yes. The best way, considering your profound size, how would you feel about integrating with the ship in order to travel with us? Give me a roll. Yeah. Talk. Yep. Ten. Complete success. Nice. This is a very good offer. I can fit many of myself in there. I believe this is the part where you say we have a deal. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Put her there. And then my mech will come out and take out its hand because my mech's not very big, actually. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And Kay activates some sort of like tractor beam type thing on the paradise, just some sort of grabby mechanism to like reach out. Yeah. And you guys see the thera fluid mass of the Oratrix just like reach out and like it turns smaller for a second and then it like lashes out just this big inky body of robot just grabbing onto (laughs) the whatever is extended from the paradise and it absorbs into the system and you see everything kind of flicker and it is going to roll a program (laughs) you bitch you bitch get away from me (laughs) you you got a what you got Um, a 14 yeah um and it gets into the ship and it settles down and it goes Clever. You got more than a I have dealt with your kind before. I see we were not mistaken by bringing you in. Oh, so now you like it, huh? Because I'm complimenting you. I want to leave this ship immediately, <laughs> but I will stay because you are my friends. And as the, like, <laughs> nanobot ferrofluid mass is just, like, still connecting to the ship and it finally breaks off its last little bit, reforming into something new, something different, but there's, like, some gaps in it because a huge chunk of it just left and is, like, merging with your ship and you can, like, hear all the little nanobots, like, beep, 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 like, just, like, merging themselves with the paradise. And for a brief moment, You think you've seen something that you haven't seen in a long time in the center of that large AI mass. You think you see the tip of the spine. And that's where we're going to end the session. Uh, That's what I was... Yeah, you do! I was going to ask when we were going in if I could notice if like oh all these images were popping up if I could notice that we see the island or anything but mm-hmm. then I was too concerned with the giant freaking AI so <laughs> yeah. oh god damn it yeah. I rolled an 8 for their authority <laughs> <laughs> we're going to open that back up <laughs> no. uh, excuse me can we go back and look at that thank you <laughs> really good voice for the AI Jonathan yeah that Thanks. was really cool Stop doing that. I'm scared. I bet. <laughs> I, I am also very scared. Is that a good, good like, puzzly sure. type adventure? Yeah. We haven't done many yeah. of those. Yeah, we haven't done a lot of puzzly type stuff. That was really fun. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I liked it. I was I'm thoroughly not... confused yeah. for most of it. I knew there was something. <laughs> and then as like, soon as the I saw the t- one, too, I was like, God the, damn it. The Bluetooth symbol is hilarious. That's why I was laughing so hard because I didn't plan for that. <laughs> yeah. I random rolled where like the one through seven were on that God. hex. And I just needed because ev- everything seven and under adds up to seven. Mm. So I just made it so that they could all pair together. Yeah. That's funny. I hate you. Oh my you, goodness. You were like, I cracked the code. I cracked, I cracked the code. The code. And I'm Blue sitting kid. here like, how did that happen <laughs> randomly? <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean? Nothing. The numbers, Mason. 
All right, oh, whatever. Goodness. If you want to see the code, join the Discord. <laughs> yeah, we'll post a picture of the code in the Discord. What does it mean? <laughs> oh, you know what we should do? We should have the people in the Discord look at it and try and figure it out before they listen to before the they even listen yeah. yeah someone take a picture of it now and post it in the discord being like we just recorded what is this <laughs> what's this what do you think this could mean anyways thank you all for listening um find us at halfwitpodcast.com there is a sneaky peek of something else that i've been working on up on that uh website right now if you want to take a take a crack at your own code solving as well mm. um and yeah, uh, thank you to Wowbit for the use of our theme song, Into the Portal. Thank you to Kevin McLeod for the use of our ending theme, On the Shore. And yeah, join our Discord. Join our Discord. We got a few people in there who are having a lot of fun chatting with us about episodes. Donate to our Ko-Fi so you can get bonus content. Kylie, Laura, and I recorded a bonus episode about gnomes and Kylie, Louise, and I. And that one was us being people really shitty people who were <laughs> monkey pawing each other's gifts or our own <laughs> gifts actually to each other so it was yeah. just one big sad fest of it was really funny passing on something to someone else but it being ruined already by the gift you've already given think like that mickey and minnie christmas special so that was a lot of fun those will be up on the ko-fi soon enough so yeah is does anyone got anything else where uh, are we going to announce all the live stream dates on the Discord? Yeah, all live stream dates will be on the Discord. We never picked one for May, but May was kind of hectic, so you guys are going to have to forgive us about not doing one in May. Yeah. Memorial Day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh we, we could, could do, do a Memorial, Memorial Day, Day unless Memorial you guys are busy. Stream. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. Not, I don't have anything. Yeah. Hell yeah. Impromptu Memorial Day stream. Okay, if you want to watch the live stream, there we go. Donate and it's going to be on Memorial Day this month. And uh, that would be the Flotilla Friends level that you have to donate to get the live streams. That's $10 a month. We have yeah. we have a few people already donating that, which is awesome. And yeah. I love doing the live streams for them. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, it's fun content. <laughs> and money, 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 money. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we will see you next time with our new fancy ship AI. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hope we don't die. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye. No. Okay, crew, let's just go straight to the flesh mass. <laughs> oh, um, that's a choice. Forget these AI. Let's get stranded in space. <laughs> that seems like a bad choice. Let's cannibalize each other. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just shaking. <laughs> this will not be another pit. <laughs> you guys, guys want to go to the pit? <laughs> Actually, Laura, you should probably write down those numbers just on the... I have it on my paper. Okay. Yeah. I was just saying for other people to be able to see. They aren't keeping up, then okay. they don't get to know. <laughs> <laughs> I respect the hustle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never take notes. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at all these notes. I haven't written once. I don't even have a pen. <laughs> you don't have a pen. Okay, anyways. Okay.